can open your eyes now. talking Puppet Master Axis Termination, written and directed by the great Charles Band, of course from legendary Full Moon Entertainment. Now I believe this is the 11th uh, in the Puppet Master series, I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I've really only seen the first couple of Puppet Masters, which I did enjoy, but I saw them a long time ago. And uh, you know, I haven't been obviously keeping up with the series, so I decided to watch this one. Uh, you know, because it's a, it's a long one in franchise, so I thought I'd delve back in and uh, and see what it's all about these days. I know it's been going through this kind of like retro, where it's going back in time to the kind of World War II setting, and this is where this one is set. Uh, and uh, we essentially have a kind of allied group of um, well, I don't know what we'll call them heroes exactly, but we have a, a kind of a captain played by Paul Logan for the military, who teams up with a kind of a few. Uh, sort of psychic type, so there's like a, a sex wizard, witch or something and a psychic girl and this kind of um, dwarf guy who's kind of the leader of the group and then we have our kind of our Nazi group which had their own kind of puppets and uh, you know they, they've got, got kind of psychics and a woman with syringes on her, syringes on her fingers and they ultimately want to kind of uh, you know fight for domination ultimately and we have, we have our kind of our quote unquote good puppets versus our bad puppets so that's your kind of your very basic story here. The interesting thing with this movie I find is the puppets really seem to be a B plot. It almost reminds me of the subspecies uh, films where you you know the, the whole selling point was having these little demons and they were really just a kind of a side plot in this vampire movie. And it kind of feels like that's what this is. It's more about these. It's almost like the X Men, a very low low budget X Men. Um, with all these kind of like uh, individuals like against this kind of group of Nazis and uh, who have a few kind of like super powered people themselves. And then add to that you've got a few little puppets that run around and do some stuff in the periphery. Now the budget on this one is so low. It is really, really cheap looking. Everything is in very kind of small sets. It reminds me, if you've ever watched the like the old style Doctor Who. I'm not talking about the newer kind of like the series in the last kind of like ten years or so, but I'm talking about the the eighties stuff, you know. It reminds me of that type of kind of production value. It looks so cheap. And I don't remember the Puppet Masters, I mean they were always on the cheaper side, but never that cheap. Uh, so the production value looks very, very cheap. And the the puppets for the most part are, are kind of obviously being held off screen. You kind of see half their body kind of moving around and stuff like that. Um, so let's talk about the, the good things. Um, the puppets themselves are quite fun. Uh, now I'm familiar with some of these, uh, like Blade, um, Pinhead, and stuff like that. Leech Woman, uh, I've seen, kind of I'm aware of, but there are some other ones. I don't know if they're you know new in this series. We have like a female Nazi zombie whose boobs kind of come down, and she's got like machine guns and stuff, which I thought was quite fun. And the body count is quite high in this movie, and kind of all the puppets get a. Uh, you know, a few kills, and if they're meant to be our hero puppets or our kind of bad bad guy puppets, so to speak, they'll all get some kills in here. Um, so there's some quite kind of quite fun and imaginative, low budget ways, but it's never really particularly gory in a kind of a realistic sense. But the most most of the action is these kind of human characters, which I feel people are not that's not why they're watching this film. And I've got to say, the acting of this movie is horrendous. It really is. Uh, maybe with the exception of Paul Logan, who, who who kind of plays this kind of like this military captain with like pure bewilderment, and I guess that's what it would be like if you were asked to fight alongside loads of puppets. It's quite funny, uh, so he actually comes across as quite genuine. I would say, and he's kind of just like, "What am I doing, um, fighting with these bunch of puppets?" That's quite fun. Everyone else is horrible, I've got to say though, and the 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 kind of this. Um, the wolf character, he's meant to be Russian. Now, it's not a Russian accent. Me living in the UK, I'm telling you that's not a Russian accent. Um, <laughs> you watch it and you'll you understand what I mean. 
So the acting is pretty, pretty horrible. It's very kind of cheap. The plot is, is, I'll be honest with you, somewhat kind of pedestrian and basic. There is a, 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 a tendency to focus on long hammy lines of dialogue here in scenes where they just kind of maybe go on a little bit too long and our puppets aren't in it as much as we want. Now when they are in it, it's quite fun, um, but they don't really ever seem particularly menacing to me. Uh, they don't really ever seem a particularly scary and kind of a, a scary concepts. So maybe they, at this point, the the franchise has just diluted itself too much ultimately because it just seems like a kind of a cheap adventure, Doctor Who style thing, but with lots of blood in it really. Um, if you're a big fan of this series, you know, you may like this type of stuff, but watching it for the first time for a long, long time since the kind of the original couple of kind of series, I've got to say, it kind of was a little bit just too on the kind of like the cheap and rushed out side. The horrible kind of shootouts with the kind of the fake kind of like, you know, video edited, um, uh, you know, gun muzzle flashes and, and, the, and the people dying, lining up to get shot. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. I've got to be honest. It's, it has some fun little moments here and there. But ultimately, it's just it just seems like such a kind of like, OK, we've got like a couple of afternoons for you. Let's whip out another kind of like Puppet Master film. Um, everyone's paid £100 or whatever. It seems like that. It really does seem so, so cheap and very kind of... Uh, low budget. I did like the girl with the syringe in her fingers, that was quite cool. Uh, but overall, I've got to say, it doesn't really want to make me go back to the franchise, so I want to give it a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.